find the um, GCF, I mean CGF. Uh, so find the greatest common factor, you mean? Do yes. We have any? Okay, so do um, we have anything in common? X. Okay, good. So we're going to uh, factor the X out here. So let's see. Uh, Sumit, if I factor the X, what do I get? Um, what, what do I get inside the parentheses? Um, X to the third minus 125. Okay, very good. So if I factor the X out, I get X times X to the power of 3 minus 125. All right, very good. Let's see uh, who else is online can uh, help me with the next step. Uh, Carly, what do you think we should do next? What's the next step? Okay, uh, for those of you online, if I ask you a question, if you don't know how to do it, you can put the X next to your name so that then I know you, you, you're passing the question so I can move on. Um, Carly, do you know what would be the next step? Is it the distributive property, possibly? Well, not the distributive property. Uh, Sunit, what would be a next step, do you think? Can I factor this? Since it's in the form of a cubed minus b cubed, um, it should factor out to be um, a minus b time a square plus a b plus b square. Yeah, very good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as you see here, we have a difference of, of cubed here. When you have a difference of cubed, you should remember how to factor difference of cubes. This would be a formula for that. So a cubed minus b cubed would be a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. By the way, if this were a sum of cubed, if this were sum of cubed, the only difference would be the first in the first parentheses. You would have a plus here, and the sign would alter between plus and minus in the second parentheses. So if you have plus, minus, plus. So that's how the sign would change if you had a sum of cubes. So in this case, uh, we definitely have difference of cubed. The first term is x, and uh, the second term, we're looking for a number when we multiply it uh, together by itself three times, we get 125. Uh, so Sunit, what would be a second term? Five. Exactly, that would be 5. So let's uh, write that down. So the second term here is 5, and the first term is x. So to factor this, you open uh, two parentheses. Inside the first parentheses, I would have x minus 5, just like the formula says. Uh, Sunit, can you tell me what would be a second parenthesis then? Um, that should be x squared plus 5x plus 25. Yeah, very good. So. If you look at the formula, you see the first term would be x, you square that, that becomes x squared. The middle term would be the product of the first term times the second term, 5 times x. And the last term would be 5 squared, the second term squared, which would be uh, 25. So here we have it. You have x times 
x minus 5 times x squared plus 5x plus 25. That's how you uh, factor this.